probably the, the easiest way to say it. Uh, a lot of the times people I get to like, you know, what the hell? What, oh my God, what is that on top of your Porsche? The frunk is uh, quite cavernous. We can put a pretty good load of firewood in there if we need to. Uh, my wife likes to pack a lot of stuff. So uh, a big bag can go on the shelf in the back. The rear seats fold down. Uh, makes it super simple to really pack whatever we want. Online, people are a little more brave. So they're not afraid to say uh, anything negative or tell me that there's no way that should work on a Porsche or it's too heavy. We hear people saying it's photoshopped, probably more than anything else. Um, and then of course all the uh, the Porsche purists out there, they're they're not too comfortable with it. Uh, I would say there's some definitely some positive feedback that comes with it. Um, you know, you've got a lot of young people that are like, oh my God, that's like my dream glamping setup, car camping setup. Um, even it, Back to some of the purists, I think the guys that really understand the Porsche brand know that these cars were designed to do everyday things, uh, but do it in a really fun way. And so you have the guys that are like, oh man, I'm so glad to see you driving that thing. I'm so glad to see it in the snow. I'm so glad to see it on the beach. I'm so glad to see it on you know, on mountain roads. And then we also autocross and take it to the track. So um, it's definitely an all-purpose vehicle and people love that about it. <laughs> Um, I think overlanding is a culture. Um, you know, you see a lot of guys out there with Tacomas and all these other things that are just completely kitted out. And I don't know if they've ever actually been off pavement. Uh, and if, if it is off pavement, they only go places that this can go. On the flip side, you have some like legit overlanders and those guys are not afraid to do, you know, cross country, back country trips and push their vehicles, things like that. I think the, the whole idea of overlanding um, is a little goofy, to be honest. Uh, I think it's really just about getting out there and camping in, in nature. I've I learned really quick that it wasn't gonna be a garage queen. I've had the garage queens. Um, in this one, it gets driven on a daily basis, no matter the conditions, and that's probably what makes it my favorite car. Overall, um, I'm not going overlanding in this Porsche. Let's be let's be real about that. So I enjoy where this car takes us, the drive to get there. Um, you know, it is definitely part of the journey in that sense, and I love that about this car. So this one earns the roof tent more than anything else.